that's the part. That's the block, because that's a nice beach you can hang out in after. Go for a dip, cool up. I'm testing the water here at Isla Isabel, Mexico, where we're anchored around the corner behind a giant rock and surrounded by frigate birds. We've just been on an epic hike to check out the resident frigates and blue-footed boobies, and at the top of one peak, we were treated to an incredible show by a pod of humpback whales. Got it open. We've recently fixed many of the systems we broke getting here and are in much better spirits now that we're over 700 miles from Penasco, where we started, and have just one leg left to get me to the airport where I will fly to Arizona for my sister's upcoming mastectomy surgery. Enjoy that. I'm in a cave now. Cool. Weird, it's like greeny. The weird rainbow in the sky right there. Oh wow. Like this weird green. The booby right here. What's up, buddy? To this anchorage. Yeah. Yeah, it's through anchorage. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. Damn, they're well, they're flapping their tails. Whoa, what are they so fired up about? That was pretty cool, huh? That was so amazing. I'm, I'm in awe right now. I can't believe what we just saw. So a huge humpback whale just basically came into the anchorage, like. 400 feet away yeah. from the boat. We can still see the whale moving out here. Yeah, they're they're pretty far away now. It's just, yeah, it's a little too hard to film, but I just, Bill and I were just saying how freaking amazing this place is. Um, yeah, it's a little harder to anchor here because it's a little rolly. Yeah. It's like a natural stream. Yeah, it's um, called the Little Galapagos of yeah. Baja. Because the bird, like when you go up to the birds, they're not really afraid of you. Like you know in the Galapagos, like they have no predators, so it's kind of a similar feel. Like those boobies and frigate birds just look at you and like, huh? All these miles, we didn't see whales, and now we're seeing them for <laughs> Every two day. days in a row. We saw them on the hike yesterday. Look like big. Again. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> Maybe we'll see a whale out here. Just 
stuck. Wait, that's better. <laughs> now she's full. There's a lot of lines on the code zero, so it really yeah. takes a bit sometimes to get everything sorted. But I'm starting to feel more in the rhythm of sailing again, at least. That's, I do too, like it feels good. Yeah. Like we're just on an overnight passage again, like no yeah, big deal. We just uh, skedaddled because the weather today has been really bad. Um, just for the anchorage, like there's just no protection. And the waves were like crashing pretty close to the boat, which was causing a massive roll. And we were in the worst spot of all the boats, so. Um, we ended up just like, well actually Bill went in the water, but I just worked today. And the place we're going in tomorrow, we want to arrive in the morning, because it's a 55 yeah. mile sail. So we're doing an overnight sail. Yep, it's gonna be, uh, it's like a little beach town, it's supposed to be cute, um, with the stern anchor, so we want to be there in the daylight, time to get settled, not coming in at night fighting that. Right, yeah, so it'd be, it's like not a super simple hey, anchor situation. Too. Yeah. They got everyone got away, underway pretty quickly. Yeah. That's fun. water bottle. Something moved. This evening we're traveling with Alegria, Mike and Katie, and uh, Kevu, who's Dave and Marla. Dave helped me a ton in the boatyard. We're just cruising with them for the first time, but we knew them for a while in Peñasco. Yep. Uh, they're on a Tartan 37, so very similar to this boat, so uh, and it should be fun to sail in company with them. Small World's leaving tomorrow morning. Small World decided to do this during the day, which I could see as well. Yeah, because it's a night passage, so there's all the risks that come with night passages, like things in the water. Yep, exactly. Stuff breaking, potentially knock on wood that doesn't yep. happen. <laughs> the usual. Yeah, I think we're on the masthead over here. So Dave had some weird. Dave had some weird uh, interference with his nav lights, causing his radio to kind of just crap out, and also AIS signals and receiving. So he's using some backup battery-powered lights, not off the ship's batteries, like a portable light, because we just he just disappeared from my AIS screen, which is just strange, uh, and he couldn't see us, we couldn't hear him. Uh, but we were hearing people like up north, like 300 miles away. So uh, but yeah, and so the, but the reason that we we're talking about what lights to put on is because we're all leaving at the same time, and so we, we might physically be close together. Yeah. And, so like the bow lights, the deck level lights are kind of easier probably if you're close. The mastheads are obviously good when we're far apart. Yeah. And so that's what's going on in the back. <laughs> Oh, geez, I see the underwater. Oh, boy. Okay. That'll... Oh, jeez. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure we're on top of it. We went right on top of it. I saw the uh, turbulence in the one Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, I don't think I like that. Oh, there it is. Right there. There. Right there. Wait, oh, my God. Oh. Wow, that was terrifying. Oh my god. Yeah, I see him uh, between Calgary and I. Uh, I don't know. Are they like dolphins? Do they know where the boat is or what? I hope so, unless you're sleeping on the surface, right? you believe we just went over that whale? That was for sure. That was crazy. Yeah, I know. That's not great. Hey, that was a great, like I saw the whale. Underneath? Yeah, I was filming. Did he dump the whale? We just sailed over it. I know. Is it going to go to the code zero and go to the gym? I'm going to hit something, I'd rather hit it at slow speed. Oh my, yeah, maybe. That was amazing. I mean, it was really scary, actually. I don't really, didn't really have much I could do for both. I want to see whales, but I never wanted to be that close to one. We've seen the 
lucky that we were there, but... I know, it did. Yeah. I don't know if I got anything on film, actually. Okay, you can see the shape under the water. Can you see it? So we're going to come up over here? Yeah. No, we went right over here. Yeah, it. he came out over here. Yeah, no, I, I got him. I was over there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I might slow us down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I guess. What are our options here with this wind angle? I don't think I want, well, I guess put the roll of the general, go slower. We're doing, we don't need to, we're getting in at 3.30 right now, so. Okay, that's really slow, but Sunrise arrival. Uh, it's been pretty chill. Uh, some motoring, some sailing. Not too bad. Escalated quickly. It's supposed to be dead calm right now. Uh, we stopped at like 25 knots true, and some sort of sea state is running. Must, oh, this must be Karen here, but we're only uh, eight miles away, so keep on keeping on. The sun just came up. Always nice to see the sun. How many feet are we gonna drop? We're in 18 feet of water, so we'll do like 100 feet, so five, uh, five marks. Really tingled up on me, if I recall. 
gets really yeah, messed in that locker. Currently, Calico Skies is anchored and pointing into the wind, as per usual. But in this anchorage, there is a big swell that comes in from the mouth of the bay, so we are setting a stern anchor to prevent us from being broadside to the swell. Okay, so I'll take a bunch out, and then you're going to secure it to the winch. Okay. And I'm going to drag the boat in a circle. this guy so we've moved we flipped around in the wind um, while we were trying to sort out this anchor stern anchor situation <laughs> he's coming slowly that was uh taking too long and bills and is starting to hurt so we're gonna I thought I'd be strong enough to do it Tools for this stuff, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, he's going to take the line, uh, fix it to the dinghy, um, so he doesn't have to hold it, the line. are going off because uh, it thinks Bill is a dangerous vessel, a dangerous target. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure everyone does it that way. Well, it seemed like everyone was watching us. I don't know. Anyway, watch us. Well, they probably put them to live here. Okay. Should just leave. Okay. Oh. We did it. Am I tucked in enough? <laughs> 